currently obsessed with Cooking Craze Restaurant Game. I've had this game for a while now and I'm really enjoying it. So basically it's a time management game. So you have to serve customers before they get fed up and leave the restaurant. So as you progress through the game, you unlock new restaurants and you also unlock new worlds. So I'm currently in the second world, which is Paris. I've completed New York, as you can see from the three stars, but we're going to head back there and I'm going to show you around. So all the yellow circles on the ground are the levels you have to complete. You have to complete each one three times to be able to complete the world. You also unlock tokens one of the times you complete it. So you might get a token the first time or you might have to wait until the third time. And these tokens are needed to unlock new restaurants. The pink ones mean that I've got an extra shift I can complete there. Although I don't really see what the point is once I've completed the whole world as I've got nothing left to upgrade in my restaurants. But I'm going to show you each of the restaurants I've unlocked so far. So we're going to start off with the donut truck. This is the first place you unlock. So before you hit play, you need to pay attention to what the goal is. So the goal for this one is to earn 225 coins. So the first thing you really need to do when you enter the restaurant is to put some donuts on. They have times that appear on them. Once it goes red, it means they're done. If they stay in there too long, they will burn. And on some levels you can fail because it has burnt. And then you need to add the right icing to the right donut. As this is level 3, it's not very challenging and it should be fairly easy to complete. You may have noticed that the drinks appear on their own. Some objects you don't actually have to make yourself, the game will make it for you. It just makes it slightly easier to keep track of everything. The bar at the top shows you how you're doing, so it shows you how many coins you've collected so far and shows you how many customers you have left to serve. And we finished serving everyone and we won. Once a day you can click double coins and watch an advert to get double the amount of coins. But I don't need to do it for this one. I'm going to do it when I'm back in Paris because I do need the coins there. So that is the first goal we have today. So we have to complete 10 shifts. And if you do that, you earn an extra reward. There are three tasks to complete each day. The more tasks you complete, the better your reward is. Usually you have five lives. And if you fail a level, you will lose a life. But currently I've got infinite lives. So let's do level 29. So the goal for this one is serve 40 dishes and you aren't allowed to put anything in the bin. Double tapping puts something in the bin. You will lose the level if you do that. And it is also timed, so you need to be quick. This shift is at the burger bar. So again, we need to get everything on. So I'm gonna put my buns out, put my burgers and my sausages on and put on the fryer for the onion rings. There's a lot more going on here than there was at the donut van, so we need to be on the ball. You might have noticed it says combo there. So if you serve more than three dishes quickly, you will get a combo, which means you earn more coins. So this is especially good if you're trying to complete a coin level. This one isn't though, we're just serving dishes, but because there's so many people, you do get quite a lot of combos. My excuse for being a bit slow at this one is I haven't done this one for a while. I've been working on the Paris levels instead but we're still going to complete it. You can see the bar at the top again, but this time instead of showing how many customers are left, it shows how much time's left. But honestly, I don't really pay attention to this while I'm trying to serve people as I see how much time's left and then I just panic. So I just concentrate on what I'm doing. Oops, hope no one noticed that mistake. I put cheese instead of tomato in a burger, but I'm not going to trash it though. I'm just going to leave it there. It's all right making a few mistakes, but when you can't trash anything, you just need to be very careful. Great, that level's complete. The next restaurant is the Pancake House one. The goal for this one is 1,515 coins. And you're not allowed to trash anything. This level is quite difficult, so I don't think I'm gonna complete it. It took me forever the first time. So let's put the toast on, the eggs on, and our pancakes on. Oh, and we need to put some ice cream in the freezer.
This one is very hectic and I get very confused with this one. So far so good, everyone is happy. I'm getting as many combos as my brain can cope with. Oh, that is just bad luck. So I didn't complete it. The goal was 1,515 coins and I got 1,435, which is one thing that kind of annoys me about this game. Some levels just are not possible to complete unless you use those little extras. So it says out of customers, buy three more customers, which is how I think I had to complete it the first time. So some levels are just impossible to complete. Obviously the coin one is not the best example. I could probably have got a few more combos in there. But the ones where you have to serve dishes to people and you're going as fast as possible and you still can't complete it, I think that is a problem. But not every level is like that, only a few of them are really impossible to complete. Most of them are very fair. So we're just going to quit that one and head to the next restaurant. It serves steak and fish, so I'm going to call it the Surf and Turf restaurant. So let's put on the soup, the steak and the salmon. Oh and let's not forget the cheesecake. So the aim of this one is to serve 25 dishes and we can't burn anything, otherwise we will fail this level. And that's another level complete. So there are 110 levels in New York and then you can go to Paris. So I'm on level 28 in Paris. I'm going to talk you through level 24 first. So this one you need thumbs up, you need 16 thumbs up and you can't burn anything and it's timed. So let's click play and this is a croissants restaurant I suppose. They must have actual names, I'm just going by what they serve. So we need to put the croissants on and we need to put the tarts on and you need to serve the customers before the thumbs up disappears from the bar next to them which is halfway down so don't keep them waiting too long. Ah, so I didn't do it. I only got 13 thumbs up, even though it was going so well. It says out of time, use 30 seconds. So you get an extra 30 seconds. I'm gonna actually use it for this one. But obviously you don't have to use them, just click the red cross and then you can just do the level again. So we've got 30 seconds now to make three people happy. If only we had 30 seconds extra in the first place. Like I said before, some of them, they do make difficult to complete in the time. Also, I just served someone there who didn't have the thumbs up next to them because I made them wait too long, so he didn't count. So I'm currently on level 28. Before I do the level though, I'm going to upgrade my restaurant. So click upgrade, which is next to the play button, and it will show you all of the items for the restaurant. So you've got ingredients there and you've also got your equipment. 
So you start off with one croissant oven and then you get your tart oven and then you need to buy your upgrades so you can upgrade to three ovens in total for each. So I'm gonna upgrade my drinks machine. It currently makes two drinks, but if we upgrade it, it will make three drinks. So upgrading is good because you can serve people quicker. So I definitely recommend upgrading things as soon as you can. Now that's upgraded, we can do level 28. So on the dish at the top, you can see a token there. You collect these tokens to unlock a new restaurant. For this level, we need to serve 40 dishes. We can't have any customers leave. And again, it is timed. That extra drink is gonna be so helpful. Definitely need to buy another tart oven next. Oh, we're so close. Yes, we've done it. Great, so we served 42 dishes and completed this level and got our token. So you can see that token's been added to the present pile there. So we've got 28 out of 30 now. So once we get to 30, we will unlock more levels to complete. And then to build a new restaurant, we need 40 tokens. So we'll find the other tokens in the next set of levels that we unlock when we reach 30 tokens. It's a really jam-packed game. I'm not sure yet if we actually unlock all of the worlds because there's quite a few of them or whether we're going to have to buy some of them with real money as an in-app purchase. So far that hours of fun playing Cooking Craze restaurant game and I'll definitely recommend giving it a go. Although for some reason it doesn't work on my iPhone, it crashes whenever I try and play it, even though my iPhone isn't that old. I can only play it on my iPad Pro, so you may want to take that into account. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and please subscribe to my channel. I post loads of gaming videos every week. I also have a blog, thegirlgames.blog, and on there you can find loads of posts about The Sims Free Play and The Sims Mobile. Thanks for watching. Bye!